You're now listening to Fauna FM. This ain't your granny's radio station. I'm your DJ Kieran Fauna and get ready to jam out. Let's go. Kohana, I forgot we need to supply our own BGM for this game. Kohana, hello, hello, welcome, welcome. We're playing this game again. I'm going to beat it today. I'm determined. But we can't, we can't win unless we have BGM. <laughs> but where, where is my BGM? I completely forgot. <laughs> it's too quiet. Give me, give me something. Bring, give me anything. I don't really want just anything though. I'm actually, I'm more, I'm more picky. I decided. Monkey music. Hold on, I keep forgetting. I never named the monkey file, and I don't know which one it is. I don't want to accidentally play you. My embarrassing test recordings <laughs> on accident. Um, that's the cats. Sans cats. Okay. Should I rename it? Monkey BGM. <laughs> The f cannot be completed because the file is open in OBS. Okay, how about we copy and we paste it? We're never gonna gonna win this. <laughs> we need the power of monkey music. Okay, you copy and you paste it. Wait, did I paste it? Oh no. It's gone. <laughs> Can't I copy and paste? Copy. No, give me a new tab. <laughs> give me stream stuff folder. Give me music folder. Is If I drag and drop, is it going to be mad, though? Give me... Give me... Copy. Paste. <gasps> Monkey music. Tech support stream. Look, we only have to do this once, and then it will forever be available to us in my properly organized folders. There. Now. <laughs> I'll just win fast, so that we don't have to listen to this for very long. Right? Just whatever you do, don't push the new game button. Hold on. I already forgot how to play this. I feel like I can win in like 20 minutes though. <gasps> Why would it be slippery? Personally, is this jump hard right here? <laughs> Personally, I feel, oh, as though I can win in like 20 minutes. You said this is the last part. No more checkpoints. <laughs> yeah, I've got a refreshed mind. No! <laughs> We've come back from the birthday stream. Birthday is 
done. It's over. I'm never having another birth. I'm just kidding. There will be another birthday. Oh no. <laughs> there, the birthday stream has ended. I will not have another birthday for like 363 days or something. Oh. Okay. So I can put it out of my mind. My mortality, my immortality. Oh. Okay, okay, it's not that hard. <laughs> I've still got it. <laughs> Birthday stream was so much fun. Thank you, I'm glad you had fun. I had fun too. I really want to try DMing something now. Okay, now. I don't know how to do this. I have a matcha latte. It doesn't have a lid on it. I'm afraid <laughs> that I'm gonna spill it. So I have it in the exact middle of my desk, blocking my screen. I'm not crunching the ice because that would be bad for my teeth and I would never do that. Okay. <laughs> Always buy the milk hat. Plan. I just need to, if I were a little further, I feel like I need to not freak out. Oops. Like, don't freak out. <laughs> Every time. Just put your hands together and slow down your descent. Okay, why is this jump hard though? Because I didn't have my two hour training warm up that I had last stream when we defeated that devious, devious section. Hold on. Grasp it firmly. We don't fall over to that side, or you might cry. 276 days until Christmas. Christmas already? Oh! <gasps> That's it! That's how it's done! My strategy worked! Okay, now... Just win, and then I'll be done in 20 minutes, just like I said. Don't you dare slip. This ain't your granny's slip and slide. That she pulls out during the summer months in her yard and you get to play and it is joyous, joyous summer memories. And then you always ask, Granny, how come you don't ever go on the slip and slide? And you don't realize realize what you were asking in your childhood innocence she does does your grandma go in the slip and slide <laughs> you had the tiny plastic pool that just reminds me of my sandbox where I got stung by a wasp that was buried in the sand This is very scary. Please, oh, please grasp it firmly. Please. Oh, and I have to, do I have to jump to the one down there? Oh, I'd really rather not. <laughs> I have fresh hands. My hands are not sweaty and cramping. 
I make it across to the far one? I don't know. Or do you mean reaching? No! <laughs> okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> he just starts falling. <gasps> so quickly. Things get out of hand. <gasps> so quickly here. Do you think Alex Honnold ever felt this insecure? I mean, I watched Free Solo. We watched it together for a member's watch along. And he said that he never would Free Solo unless he feels like 100% confident in himself. So I guess he probably <laughs> doesn't ever feel like he's just slipping around on the rocks. <laughs> That's probably a sign that you're not ready to be Free Soloing. I'm not crunching the ice cubes. I'm crunching them. I'm sorry. <laughs> Surely this is more stressful than whatever he does. I, he does jump sometimes though. On the rocks. Which is absolutely terrifying. And you do the kick. The kick is also terrifying. How do I do this? Do I have to grab it with both of my hands? Do I need to do the cat scratch? <laughs> Just do it? But he doesn't grasp it firmly. The problem is that he does not grasp it firmly. <gasps> like I have asked of him a million times. <laughs> Poor guy. Grip strength failing. Do you think for like this John C climbing right here? Do you think in his world, it's like when I close the game, he ceases to exist. So whenever I reboot the game, he has like no breaks. It's like a seamless experience for him. So even though I've been doing this across like many days, for him, this is all like one, it's all one session. How many hours has he been at this with no breaks? <laughs> he just hangs out in the water. But the water is probably cold. Oh, I'm very scared. Oh! What? Haven't I been here before? Am I crazy? Do I have to go over there? <laughs> More jumps? Deja vu? In my dreams? I had more weird dreams. What did I dream? Well, I watched a video about a man eating a wood apple, which I didn't know what a wood apple was, and it seems to be a unique fruit. And... What did he say? He said it tastes like eggnog and bananas and apple. You saw that video too. <laughs> and then I had a dream. Well, he, and then he ate wood apple jam, which he said, oh, and it tastes kind of like cheese. I guess that's the eggnog part. And he said that the jam tasted really bad until you put it with butter and then it tastes good. And then I had a dream that I was eating wood apple jam with butter and I was eating it on like Chocopon. And it was so good. It was, it was delicious in my dream. And then I woke up and I was like, oh, I want, I want toast with like lots of butter and jam on it. That sounds really good now. <laughs> I am stalling, you're right. This is a humongous jump. Okay. Oh, now I have to go to the left? Okay. <sighs> I had another dream about promise, hollow promise. This time we were in a video game and I was deceiving them all. We were like, 
trapped in the mines, forced to work in this like underground cave system. <gasps> and I was deceiving them because I had found <laughs> this like prison area former prison not in use but it had beds and stuff and then I like kitted it out to be my own room and I didn't tell any of the others about it and I had a TV in there and I was just chilling in my prison room and then at one point they were all asking this is all in a video game but they were all asking where are you guys like sleeping because there's not very many places to sleep in here and I was like oh don't tell them. Don't tell them. <laughs> and then they they figured out that I was hiding something and then they started looking around for my my secret secret room. What game was it? It was not a game that exists. I don't, it was kind of like Dwarf Fortress. I've never played Dwarf Fortress, but it's how I imagined Dwarf Fortress if if we were the dwarves. <laughs> It was a prison, but my, it was pretty cool. I had like a TV and a couch in there. I don't know how I got like cable, but I did. <laughs> Lots of text and numbers. No, you had, it was like Dwarf Fortress, but you installed a graphics mod. How do I do this? This seems like an impossibly large jump. Oh! Oh! Not impossible. Not impossible. If you just dream that you can do it. Oh, I'm so scared. I feel like I must be getting close to the end. It's an ice mountain. We all know what ice mountains mean, right? Oh, do I go left or right? I feel like right is a... Is a red herring. Herring? Heron? <laughs> is it a herring, a fish? Red heron? Herring? Go right? It is a fish? I thought it was supposed to be a bird. Oh. Okay, it's fine. Slow and steady. Okay, it's very slippery, but... Wait, it's a fish? Red herring has been a fish the whole time? I don't actually know the, the reason why that's a saying. Oh. Red, I like red herring. Oh, I see what I have to do. Why has there not been a checkpoint? <laughs> How come there hasn't been a checkpoint? This thing doesn't swing so well. I don't like it. Oh gosh. <laughs> Good luck. No checkpoints for champions. <laughs> this thing on a playground. I would love to see the local children doing this at the playground. Just swinging like maniacs. <laughs> it looks like a workout. <laughs> 
Am I gonna flip? I don't know. It's like bread and Fred all over again. Try one hand. One hand is kind of janky. I'm very scared. let go oh look at the shadow the shadow is so scary at what time on a clock should I let go like 5 p.m. <laughs> four four or five That wasn't, that didn't, that didn't get me there. That's fine. We can, we can get back. <gasps> that was terrifying. Go slow. No slipping, no sliding. I just told you no sliding. You actually can sort of grab the... the mountain. The problem is I've been practicing my one-handed swings this whole time. Are we almost to the space section? These games have to go to space, right? That's just the way that it's gotta be. Okay. You are not a red herring. Or even a red herring. You are just the correct path! Somehow. Somehow! <laughs> hey, firmly grasp it. A red hair ring? That sounds... Oh, I guess a hair ring doesn't have to be a ring made of hair. I was gonna say it sounds gross. A ring made out of hair, but it could be a ring that you put in your hair. Right? A hair ring. Like those anime characters that have like... Or fantasy characters, like elves. Or like this thing is like a red ring. But I have no hair to put it in. You know those like elves and they have like the hair... And it's got a little like... <laughs> a little thing in it. It collects the hair into one piece and then it goes like halfway down their head. And Zuko, yes! What do you call that? The hair loopies. No! No! My goodness. This part is so mean with no checkpoints. <laughs> well, I believe the exit is just like right there. Just right after that jump. I'm really not getting much momentum out of it. That jump. Maybe I need more confidence. Oh no. <laughs> I can sense it. The end is nigh. Uh oh. Now how the heck did I do this?
No, that was not nearly enough. I need more lodgy. No, I rushed. I thought I was gonna get it first try again. You, I need to launch myself and then just like be happy with wherever it, wherever it takes me. No, I don't want to bathe in the waters, the chilly waters anymore. Oh no, I saw Iris is gonna play this. Oh. And Bibu played it, and Kyla played it, and Callie played it. Uh oh. I'm I'm racing to the top. Oh. I want to get there. Oh. And then I'm gonna watch a speed run and de <gasps> determine how <laughs> difficult learning the speed run would be. And then, and then that determines if I play a hundred more hours of this game or, or never touch it again. <laughs> Maybe there would be a race. Yes, like that. You beautiful, Jonathan, you. That was beautiful. Okay. <laughs> if you believe, you can achieve. I feel like controller is the meta. Like I know it's not <gasps> the meta at all. <laughs> I know it's not the meta at all, but have people considered that it doesn't hurt your hands nearly as much? Doesn't make you want to cry? I'm gasping so much. It's because I know it's so close. I don't want to lose it. Victory could be at any point, at any climb. scaring me when you grab it so not firmly. Whew. Pain is part of the speed run. Okay. We're losing it today. I dreamt that I was streaming this game as well. And then in my dream, I told you the tangent about, about my dream. My previous dream about the wood apple and how I was eating jam. It was all predetermined. No, that was not nearly enough! You, Jonathan, you. How come I did it so easily last time? <laughs> More practicing the dreams. I've been waiting for this moment. Where I can beat this game. It's been getting interrupted by, well, more important things, <laughs> possibly. Like fest and birthday. But now that that's over with. Oh! <gasps> Jonathan, John, sea climbing, it's your time to shine. How come the characters in these games are never like an anime waifu? <laughs> Maybe because people would, would think they're trying to do something strange there. Ulterior motives. I'm just thinking, the shield hero girl, Raftalia, is that her name? Im oh! <laughs> Imagine if it was just her climbing this. Would that make it weird? <laughs> I don't really, I don't, in my imagination, 
definition. I don't want it to be like cute though. I want it to be... She also needs to be like really buff. I mean, obviously, if you're gonna climb the mountain like this, you have to be. Gymnast Simulator was a girl. That one had character customization. Imagine if this game had character customization. I feel like the character I would customize would end up looking exactly like this. This is basically my pal world character already. No, not, not, not good, bad. Oh no. I'm sort of in despair. That I thought this was gonna be like the hardest part. In <laughs> much afterwards with no checkpoint and sure you might be able to catch yourself but you might just fall all the way back to the start but this is like i don't know this is the getting over an experience i did think like this game any game like this that has checkpoints i mean they're not exactly guaranteed checkpoints, but they're pretty guaranteed, you know? No, not far enough. Do I need to be lower? It's pretty hard to fall. I shouldn't say this. This is like me jinxing it. I'm gonna fall <laughs> back to the previous checkpoint. I'm hitting my head, but I need, I need good swing. Should I just be lower? Maximum swing, but lower. <laughs> that wasn't, I don't know what that jump was. Am I getting better at these jumps? I don't know. I feel I am. Okay. <laughs> Give me not. I feel like I could. If I beat this game a second time, I feel like I would be faster. At it. But I think the checkpoints do make it like an inherently different game to getting over it. Because, like, getting over it. And in this game, it's like they can put a really hard jump. Oh no. <laughs> they can put a really hard jump right before a checkpoint. And then you really only have to do that jump like once. There's probably several jumps like that. Oh no. <laughs> I'm losing it. But in getting over it, you really, there's not really that case. Like the, I don't know. I guess the bucket maybe is possible to beat the game with only doing the bucket once. But I feel like most people will probably have to do the bucket again. So in that way, getting over it forces you to get good at the game. Whereas this game, mm, I do feel like it does give you like a lot of training opportunities. You definitely get better. But maybe it doesn't force you as much. I feel like, but this last section is more in line <laughs> with getting over it. Cause there's no checkpoints. Lower? Okay, lower is the way to go. <laughs> it's definitely nicer. It's, it's 
interesting though, because it feels... Oh no! Right after I made it! <laughs> no! I should be more careful. It feels nicer, but I think it, it's kinder to you because the controls are more unpredictable than getting over it. That's my... the sense that I have anyway. But maybe speedrunners do feel differently. Maybe it's just because I spent too long playing getting over it. And now the physics, I'm like... <laughs> what do you mean it's, it's a rage game? What do you mean the controls are not intuitive? They make perfect sense. That's just the way that the controls are meant to be. Oh. See, I'm learning. I'm learning. It's definitely that. Does that mean I can play this game for 100 hours and get really good at it? Oh, whoa. How are the speedrunners doing? How many people are speedrunning this game right now? Oh! <gasps> oh! <laughs> About 200? Did you, did you just make that up or do you know? I believe you. I don't know, it's fun when a new game like this comes out and a lot of people are speed running it and you get all sorts of time saves coming out like the only up speed running was fun to watch they use the momentum a lot like never stopping that is similar to For yourself. <laughs> I don't know if I can get into speedrunning this game simply because of the the pain, the physical pain. <laughs> My hands are kind of important to me. I don't want to get repetitive stress injury just for the sake of speedrunning. I don't know if it's worth <laughs> Okay, not like that. You got to you got to jump a little bit. You got to put some sauce on it. <laughs> it never is. At least getting over it didn't hurt. Did it actually sometimes it did hurt. Just a little though. Not like this game. Although I do find controller is way, way, way more comfy. But maybe no one... No! <laughs> no, I can't do this jump! Maybe nobody... None of the speedrunners use controller. Getting over it hurt my psyche. This game definitely does that. No! <laughs> it hurt my psyche when I watched someone else play through the box part that caused me intense turmoil. And they seem to have no problems with it at all. <laughs> they just did it. And I was like, what? But my suffering. It was just me? <laughs> Where's the witch hat? The witch hat is so big. No! <laughs> the witch hat will block the whole screen. But the shared experience! The shared suffering! You mean it was just me suffering on the boxes? It <laughs> worth. Which hat? You're not 
not gonna be able to see. I guess you don't really need to see what's in the corner of the screen. Is this guy always in the same spot on the screen? You know games like that where like the the main character never moves and just other stuff moves around? Like Vampire Survivors. So you can just put a little like PNG over it. I saw, I think Callie did that when she was playing Vampire Survivors. And I was like, how did she get her character in the game? Did she mod it? Did she mod herself into the game? <laughs> but no, you can just, it's just always in the center of the game. You can just stick your face on top of it. gonna win in 20 minutes. <laughs> I actually thought I did. I was like, well, it's okay. If I win in 20 minutes, that means I can play Slice and Dice afterwards. <laughs> I was ready. I was ready for the pivot. Of, oh, haha, that didn't take very long. Well, guess I'll go play Slice and Dice now. <laughs> but no. We are trapped here. It's always the ice mountains. Just like getting over it. Overconfident. It's good to be confident in games like this though. No! He should have grabbed it! Well, I should have grabbed it. <laughs> we should have an ice hollow. Um, you mean Yukihana Lami? We have one? Or she's snow? Is there a, is there a difference? <laughs> Enough. That's my sense too. That snow and ice are like close enough. I mean, they go together, like even right here, but that's not quite true, right? <laughs> you could have one without the other. No! No! Snow is just small ice. What about hail? Hail is just hard rain. Snow is just soft hail. Slightly bigger snow. Give me some of that big snow. So that it dents my car. Yes, please. I don't have a car. <laughs> Hail is cool, but also scary. Did you guys see that video that I saw of the hail storm? Oh no, that's not gonna work out for you. And it's in somebody's pool and the pool is like going crazy. <laughs> Getting hit by Golf ball sized hail. Bouncy pool. You have not? It's a cool video. <laughs> it's like playing dubstep. Yes, yes.
librarian, pull it up. I know, the worst kind of React streamers, like me, will not give you the sauce, they'll just talk about it. If you didn't see it, that's too bad. <laughs> Try to be more terminally online, I guess. <laughs> I can't really recommend that. <laughs> I just assume that you guys all have the same internet feed that I do. Some of you do. You saw the wood apple video. And you watched it. <laughs> I saw a video, is it called a crab apple? That green thing. And some people have them in their yard and it just makes a bunch of like spiky green fruits all over in the ground. Those are a thing. Can people eat those? Can you eat those? <laughs> green things. Some are edible, very tasty, very poisonous. I'm getting mixed results here. Spiky, not spiky, they look like... No! They look like a power-up in a video game. <laughs> you know? They taste really good? I knew someone... Who was... Very rich in like middle school. And she had like a mansion. <laughs> and I got to go to her mansion a couple times. And they had a bunch of those trees. And the fruits would be like all over the, the ground. <laughs> Oh, Joe-sama, she was. She had like a movie theater in her house and everything. Like a grand piano in the, in the entryway. The foyer. Yeah, very, very fancy. But I always wondered like why they put all those trees everywhere. Cause I think they would spend so much time removing the crab apples <laughs> that fell from the trees. And I guess you, you can't eat them or maybe you can, I don't know. Mixed results, but what's the point? Why don't you plant like a lemon tree or something? Or at least like a more beautiful tree. Are they, maybe crab apple trees are beautiful when they bloom, I don't know. I don't know if I ever saw them blooming. Like a magnolia tree. Oh! Magnolia is my favorite kind of flowering tree. Super pretty flowers. Like big flowers. Yeah. Big pink and white flowers. Yeah. But they're very sensitive to frost. So if they bloom early, earlier than they should, and then it frosts, it gets cold, all the flowers will just die and fall off and then it won't bloom again until next year. It's very sad. Yeah. <laughs> crab apple trees are super hardy. But like, why a crab apple tree instead of like, I don't know, any other tree, like an oak tree? <laughs> I guess I don't understand. 
I'm not ready to own a mansion yet. <laughs> Until I understand why you would put a bunch of crab apple trees in your grounds and then pay someone to go pick up all the fruits so they don't rot and attract animals, raccoons. The final test, oak trees are terrible? Why, because they have acorns? No. It's a flex. <laughs> but why not, well, I don't know. Why not like cherry blossom trees? Flower, other flowering trees. I mean, presumably crab apple trees do flower because they're a fruit tree, right? Do all fruit trees flower? <gasps> Oak trees are great if you like squirrels. I like squirrels. Well, what do crab apple trees look like when they're flowering? If they're very beautiful, then I suppose I will understand. What do they taste like? I don't know, that's what I'm, I'm trying to understand, but all the answer I'm, answers I'm getting are contradictory at best. They're tasty. They're poisonous. I guess they could be tasty and poisonous. They're sour. They're disgusting. They're delicious. <laughs> They're gorgeous. I don't know. But the reason I was wondering is because that fruit guy, which I've never seen his channel before, the guy who ate the wood apples. <gasps> no! <laughs> no! But apparently his whole channel is based around eating fruits. And then he had like a top 10 most interesting fruits in America. And I thought it was a crab apple in the thumbnail, but then I went to the video and I like scrolled through it, skimmed through it, and I didn't see any crab apple. And then I was like, oh, I just wanted to know if you could eat crab apples. Cause I always thought about that. <laughs> that a girl I knew with the mansion and the many crab apple trees. Never know. No. Grasp it firmly. I said firmly. I am climbing. They're extremely sour. You can make jam out of them. So why they're called crab apples? Cause they're crabby. <laughs> crabby and sour. Is making jam out of fruits just like the solution? If you have a fruit that doesn't taste very good? No. Pretty much. Ooh. It's like how you make banana bread after out of bananas that are too ripe. Okay, I think that's the trick. You go a little higher and then you grab to slow your scent. Stretch break and the matcha latte break. I 
I'm loose? No, no, I'm not loose, Mint. I do like the pause screen, because you don't have to even be holding the trigger when you unpause. It'll just be holding it for you, so you don't even need to remember which, which hand you got, got on the mountain. Okay, lower. How low though? I don't know. No! Is that too low? Some crab apple trees are actually hybrids with other apple species called apple crabs. <laughs> apple crabs. That sounds like a type of crab. <gasps> or a Pokemon. This should make a crab apple Pokemon. They run out of ideas. They should they should do that. And then everyone will clown on them. Be like, how <laughs> how idea bankrupt do you have to be to make a crab apple Pokemon? But then I will be there and say as long as it's cute, I don't care how weird the theming is. As long as it's cute and doesn't turn into a furry. And I know I'm not alone. Everybody, oh my god, they made a poke, a literal garbage Pokemon. That's, that's fine. <laughs> I mean, he's not that cute, is he, but. So we're getting there. Garbodor is cute though. Okay, I think Garbodor, the whole point of Garbodor is so that you can have Garbodor garbage cans at Pokemon Center. Oh! Okay, you're right, you just have to send it. No hesitation. Because everybody loves the Garbodor. Garbodor. Oh, no! No! Why? No! It's fine. It's practice. More careful. <laughs> it's all so that you can have the Garbodor trash cans at the Pokemon Center. In Sunshine City. Actually, I think it's at the Pokemon Cafe in Sunshine City. <laughs> and then you go, oh my gosh! It's Garbodor. And even if you don't care for Garbodor normally, since you're like excited to be in Japan and at the Pokemon Center, you're like, wow, it's Garbodor, my favorite Pokemon! Who I never cared about until now. Look, he's real and he's a trash can. Isn't that cute? At least that's what happened to me, and I took a picture of it. And was like, look. <laughs> it's Garbodor. Trash can. <laughs> so I think they knew what they were doing. They're just playing 5D chess. You'll know if you go to Sunshine City on the third floor. <laughs> Where the Pokemon Center is. Is it actually the third floor? <laughs> There's a cafe that's not the Pokemon Center. It's like the Pikachu Cafe or something. And there's a Garbodor trash can there. I saw it many times. <laughs> Cause I went to Sunshine City all the time. When did I eat there? I didn't eat anything there. <laughs> I just looked at the trash can. I just took a picture of the trash can and then left. Oh no, oh no. I was there to shop. 
I was there to buy six different Studio Ghibli themed hand towels at the Ghibli store. That's what I was doing. <laughs> And it became like the one place that I knew how to get to by myself. <laughs> and it's like a mall, so everything is inside in one place, so it's not that confusing to navigate. So I would just go there all the time <laughs> by myself or with other people. Uh oh. Mall rats. There's some good stores in Sunshine City. I feel like it's not particularly known for fashion, but a lot of the my favorite brands had stores there. You think of like Lumine, like Shinjuku, or like Shibuya 109. Which, to be fair, they probably have more fashion, and I did go shopping there too a lot, but... Sunshine City also has quite a lot of fashion, too. And they have all the cute character shops and stuff. No! the monkey music brain rot? Is it that bad? I feel like my brain just has tuned out completely. What if it's helping me climb? Uh-oh. I'll change it next time I fall. So I will just never fall again. Everybody wants the monkey music until they don't. No, I don't know how to do this jump. Down pitch and reverb for underwater version? <laughs> That's a terrible idea. I love it. Let's do it. Uh, effect. Pitch and tempo. Change pitch. This is going to be horrible. It's not actually that bad. How low should we go? Lower? <laughs> You're right, this is what Zoomers like. They like pitch down and reverb. Lower? Effect. Reverb. I want more reverb. Slow it down. Is there speed? Wawa, what is Wawa? Whoa! <laughs> yeah, put some Wawa in there! <laughs> put some Wawa in there! Tempo change speed. Why did we made a Baba is you track? How did we make 
Baba is you music. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? This is like literally a Baba is you <laughs> track. <laughs> Baba is climb. <laughs> The Baba is You music is always a little creepy. All right, let me, let me put this somewhere. Um. Where did I put it? In my documents. We made Baba is you track. Now I understand. Okay. This is kind of scary. <laughs> but Baba is You music is kind of scary. Sometimes I play it, well usually actually I play it right before bed at nine time. And sometimes I get creeped out by the music and I have to turn it down. <laughs> Horror game now. This is just monkey music, but reverbed and slowed. No! This is what Zoomer is like, right? We used to have Nightcore, and now we have slowed and reverbed. You don't want to hear the Nightcore monkey music. <laughs> Every mixer is crying when they see someone upload an 8D version of their track. <laughs> this song, but instead of being professionally mixed, now I just have it slide from one ear to the other. Pan from one side to the other. Call that 8D. Epic <laughs> music. Panning erratically. <laughs> I don't know where to jump from. Not like that. I think I need more, more sauce on it. Actually sounds like Baba is you now. Jonathan is climb. Rock is wet. Ice is slip. John is weak. Man, I've been playing Balatro still on my Steam Deck. I'm bad. <laughs> I was having an okay time on my streams, but I don't know. I'm bad off stream. No. <laughs> I did have a couple good round runs. So I unlocked challenges, but then the challenges seemed even harder. I mean, I guess that's why they're called challenges. And then I was... <laughs> I was too scared and I didn't play in them. A full house. I was trying to win on any stake. 
besides the white one. And it was just not happening. Flask. Oh, I had one that was fun with the got to endless. I had the vampire and the and the hologram. <laughs> So I was just adding a bunch of cards. What did I have? I think I had a hologram and the vampire and I had Fibonacci and the face card one that makes face cards t trigger twice, which doesn't seem good with Fibonacci because Fibonacci doesn't affect face cards. But then I also had Oh, another face card buff that gave me like plus eight molds for each face. No, plus four molds for each face card. So then they would get triggered twice. So it'd be like plus four, plus four. So then like every card I played would get either the Fibonacci or the, the face buff. No! And I had the vampire. I like the vampire. I mean, of course I like the vampire. <laughs> I wanted to, oh no. Have one where I have the vampire and then I have like a tarot card generator. So that I'm just always generating tarot cards to give buffs and then the vampire will suck the buffs out of the cards and get stronger. You must feed the vampire. Vampire plus Midas? Oh! That would be a good combo. A well-fed vampire. Oh no, that's not gonna get you there. Balatro, so good. I can't play Balatro, I have to beat this game. How am I gonna beat this game though? Oh no. The music, I think we could change it again. <laughs> I can't lie, it's a little scary. Somehow I didn't mind the monkey music, but this one is like scary. No! It really does sound like Baba is you, though. I really like the Wawas. I didn't know they had Wawas in Audacity. I might just have to add Wawas <laughs> to, to all of my tracks. I mean, we do love, we love our Wawa. <gasps> Shouldn't be surprised. Let me stay here with the Wawa. I mean, when you put it like that, it doesn't sound so bad. Let me stay here with Wawa. <laughs> No, really? Okay, I've had enough of this music. I've had enough. What other music do I have? We could do monkey music, but sped up. <laughs> Base boost it, really? Okay. If you say so. Um. Change speed. How fast? <laughs> Nightcore 
we're supposed to be. That seems too fast. <laughs> that's, that's too fast. Faster than that's too fast. This is too fast. does sound like Kirby music. You miss the Bossa Nova music. You miss when this was a comfy channel. Can we, how do we base boost it? Where's my Wawa's? What's vocoder? Oh. I don't know, but that's scary. I don't like that. Wawa? <laughs> Wawa. Whoa! Too much! Too much! <laughs> too much, Wawa! <laughs> Ouchie ears! Bass. Wait, is that really bass boosted? Oh! Now it is! <laughs> there we go! That was, wasn't that too much? Doesn't that hurt your ears? <laughs> you hear neighbors blasting monkey music! Now distortion? What's distortion? Oh no! <laughs> that sounds so bad! <laughs> okay, I'll apply it. I'm calling this one monkey music, but bad. <laughs> it's not as bad when it's not as loud. Louder? Okay, I don't know if this is gonna help me. Play this game! It's certainly not gonna help me. Think. Thoughts. Coherent thoughts. Not that I usually do anyway. Dude, <laughs> no. The longer it goes, the feel the better it gets, though. Like, I'm starting to feel it. I like the... Boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. You hear that? <laughs> beep, boop, boop. Beep, boop, boop. It's in, like, the, the right ear only. Breaking. 
I can hear the the blood in my ears. <laughs> no? You don't want to just sit here? There's so many sounds I never heard before in this game. The drip dripping of water. I never noticed it before. And yet it was always here. Hold on. I need water. A meditation stream now? If only we had some legally distinct bubbling from Super Mario Odyssey. To listen to! I feel like I shouldn't scream. It's kind of, there's some relaxing sounds going on in here. It sounds like the ice is melting. That's probably not good. I hear the sparkles. Is Edward Cullen waiting for me at the top? No! We will never find out. Can we go back to music that sounds good? What do I have? Did we listen to this last time? Meow, meow. Some, some respite for your ears? Why are you so slippy? He's so slippery all of a sudden. Now I'm passing it. We could put some wah-wahs in this. Whoever suggested the distortion, you know, this wasn't, this is not your first Audacity Rodeo. You have, you've made <laughs> horrendously compressed tracks in Audacity before. You know, the keys to the kingdom. Reverse it. That's how you can make some creepy ASMR. No, that felt like it should have worked. Do you ever try to speak backwards and then record it and then see if when you reverse it, it sounds like speaking normally? Have you ever done that? <laughs> All the time? <laughs> do you really? I mean, do most people record themselves? Ever? This is more like when I'm recording something else and I get bored. So I... <laughs> I try talking backwards to distract myself. Noted. 
Oh no. You don't even know how your own voice sounds. I know. Well, I don't think anybody likes to hear the sound of their own voice. <laughs> At least for me, I got used to it. At some point though. How do you talk backwards? It'd be like, hello. Hello, hello. So then it'd be like, hello. Ole. 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 I don't know if that's right. I was never very good at the talking backwards stuff. Actually, the trick is to record it. <laughs> The trick is to record it and then re record it normally and then reverse it and then try to mimic oh, what it sounds like reversed. And then reverse it again. Ole, ole. <laughs> Anna. Anna. <laughs> I feel like that's not right. Enough. I've had enough. Washed. It is Fauna who is washed. Because I took a shower. No! So I hope I would be washed. And I hope you're washed too. We have a mandatory shower policy here in this area spawn and chat room. Mandatory shower in deodorant. Oh, plants never really smell bad. Actually, that's not true. The, the, the corpse flower has entered the chat. Challenge. I recently bought a bunch of plants. Cause I've wanted some for a while, but I did not have any faith in my ability to properly. No, take care of them. But I said, fawn it, it'll be fine. And then I bought a bunch of plants. <laughs> What kind of plants? I got a lot. I don't even remember what all of them are. I'm going to... I forget what it's called. It's like a pepperoncini. Pepperoncini. But a plant. It's like pepperonia. Pepperoni. They are all non-toxic. Pepperomia? Is that actually it? I think I have two different ones. I got one. It's called String of Turtles. Well, that's the like colloquial name. And it does. It looks like a string of turtle shells. It's very cute. Ooh! I got a ponytail palm. 
which is fun because it, it looks like a ponytail. I see where it got its name. Snail is obsessed with that one, which I'm trying to get him to not eat it. <laughs> But it's like the ponytail palm was specifically invented to appeal to cats. Luckily, it's non toxic, but. <laughs> you know. The ponytail palm is basically a bunch of small fronds. All emanating from like one trunk. All going out in every direction. So basically, it looks like a cat toy. Long fronds everywhere. It really does look like a ponytail. It looks like if a plant was wearing a ponytail. Which I think as you can imagine, <gasps> would be very exciting. Wait, did I say cat wearing a ponytail? A plant wearing a ponytail? A cat wearing a ponytail. Would be usually cats don't have hair long enough for that. Maybe some. Oh. Oh. No. No. Cattails. Can you eat cattails? Do people eat them? Glizzy, yeah, exactly. Like, put it in a hot dog bun, put some ketchup on top, maybe some sauerkraut. Whoa! You can skip that one. <laughs> no, I need more strength, more confidence. Oh well. I'm back here. <laughs> the famous TikTok somewhere of someone eating a cat tail. Not a, like a real cat tail, but like the plant. <laughs> cat tail. You've seen that? Is it real? I have not seen it. I thought you could eat them. Oh! <gasps> I don't know why I didn't jump. <laughs> I thought you could eat them. The reed part is edible, you can. The brown part? Is that the reed part? <laughs> I need to play more Minecraft to understand what a reed is. Is that the, the grassy part? The green part? The roots are edible. But the brown part is the most enticing part of a cattail plant, right? Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. It looks edible. Tough and fuzzy hot dog. The brown part explodes into Fluff? Does it? Is it like a dandelion? Can you make a wish? I don't think I've ever touched one. No! What am I doing? Haven't seen the video? No, I haven't. It explodes into fluffy. <laughs> What were you guys eating on the playground? And don't say like, Lunchables. I want the real answer. I would eat Honeysuckle. Wood <laughs> chips and sand. Thank you for giving me the real answer. Mulch, sand and dirt. <laughs> Play-Doh. Mulch? You guys were eating mulch? I'm not trying to judge. Mulch does have a certain nice smell to it, you know? That mulch smell. 
Can't say I ever ate it though. I like how now I'm acting like morally superior. <laughs> I'm like, what mulch? Can't say I've ever had that. You do you though. When literally any other stream, I'm like, oh yeah, I tried dog food once. <laughs> I ate cat kibble. I ate Play-Doh. Play-Doh tastes kind of good, actually. <laughs> oh! You are the same. You'll try some next time? I don't know, maybe that's why I'm obsessed with slime, you know? Uh-oh. 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 Do not eat the slime. I won't eat it. I shouldn't read the chat when I'm <laughs> climbing. Okay, this is skippable. go that way. Oh, I feel like I'm seeing more of the flap than usual. Hold on, I don't want to go that way. I want to go this way. <laughs> Take me this way. The side flap. <laughs> Cursed. I don't know how I skipped it before. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh! I don't know where I am! <laughs> but I'm scared. Okay, hold on, just relax a little bit. Relax. Oh no, I did some shopping. Treat myself because of my birthday. I pre ordered the Outer Wilds Collector's Edition and I got the art book. I'm very excited. Although, it's, I think it says it's like Q4 <laughs> 2024. So, I guess we've got a while to wait on that. Anybody else who ordered it too? I wanted the vinyl, but it was sold out. I'm sad, I didn't get the vinyl. I haven't used my record player in so long, though. So I think I lost the cord. <laughs> but I'm sure you can buy a replacement cord. I need to buy one. No! I thought that was a pretty good jump! Oh no. No, that was the only one? Well, I don't know if it's like I didn't buy an Apple record player, but you never know when they're gonna be like. Oh, sorry, you can only use our charger, our proprietary. proprietary charger. You can only use this one, and it costs sixty dollars to buy a new one. Oh no! <laughs> so I don't know. I didn't know. I remember as a young Kieran when I had like my first laptop. The cord, the charger, would break like literally every like six months. And it's probably, probably user error. I don't know, maybe laptop cords were just really bad back then. Or I was just, maybe I was just like yanking on it. I don't know. But it would break like every six months and it would be under warranty and I would have to like, <laughs> Send in the old cord and then I'd have to wait like three weeks. No, for them to send me a new one. 
And then eventually we started, my mom started buying me just like those generic cords, laptop chargers, and they come with like all the different adapter tips. But then you only use like one of the tips and then you have like a box of like 15 other <laughs> other tips in it and it's like what am I supposed to do with this? Oh no. That wasn't that wasn't the same. And you can't even like share with your buddies because they only give you one cord. I guess if you have like 15 different brands of laptop, you can <laughs> you can charge them all with just one cord. I wish I could find my other old diaries. Mama Kieran brought me one of them, but I know I had more. But I don't know where they would be. I remember I would ride in them, especially when my laptop was, <laughs> was broken and was being repaired or the cord was broken and being repaired and I like had no laptop and I was so bored. So I would just ride in my diary. I know there was one summer where that happened. I think I was just like drawing writing in my diary. <laughs> okay. How have I not gone insane from this game? How do you know I haven't? <laughs> How do you know I haven't? I didn't have a desktop? No. I only had a desktop like a year before I joined Hollow Life. I got my first desktop. I don't know, I was not a desktop gamer. I still don't consider myself a desktop gamer. Like if if it were not for streaming, I don't know if I would even have a desktop. <laughs> I just would play on my Steam Deck or laptop. <laughs> Which I know, I know, gaming on a laptop. But yes. You see me in a new light? I don't know. I mean, I've mentioned before, I hardly ever played any like single player games. No! That's why I like controllers so much. I would play single player games on console. Maybe so, I don't know. Sometimes on my laptop, I guess. <laughs> play The Sims. But I'd mostly only play multiplayer games. <gasps> that did not work. That did not go according to plan. How about PlayStation? I was never a PlayStation gamer. I have a PS2 though. But I bought it in like, like 2017 <laughs> for like 50 bucks. And then I bought Shadow of the Colossus and Ico. And I didn't finish either of them. But I should, they're both good games. PS2 is the OG. I mean, I respect the PS2 because it's a contemporary 
to my the console of my childhood, the Nintendo GameCube. So it had a lot of the same games. Minus the Nintendo ones or the PS2 ones. $50 is a steal, is it? <laughs> How much are PS2s going for? I think I just bought it on like eBay. <laughs> That's a little wild. They're going all right. One hundred dollars. This is why it's good to be a hoarder, actually. You should never get rid of any of your old game consoles. Just keep them forever. No! Younger you got rid of them? That's like younger me throwing away all my manga. And now I regret it. You still have your PS1 somewhere? I still have my N64. And it works perfectly. <laughs> I have the purple one. The like clear purple one. Oh yeah. You just gotta blow the dust out of the cartridges sometimes, except apparently you're not supposed to do that. And my life is a lie. Cause how are you not supposed to do that? the only way who said that I mean, didn't nintendo say that they're like do not blow in them but like what am i supposed to do oh <gasps> wait too much too much too much what am i supposed to do if it doesn't work turn it off and on again i don't think so that's the last thing i will try Turn it off and on again. That's after you contact tech support. Contact tech support first. And then try turning it off and on again. Alcohol and Q-tips? Really? I've never done that. Okay, don't jump too much. Getting crazy with the jumps. No! <laughs> like I said, getting crazy with the jumps. I gotta beat this game. I thought this was gonna be just a just a quick climbing session, just twenty minutes, and we're out of here. And we get the crown. Twenty minutes and some change. Huh. No! Why is this jump so hard? It's been two hours already. Oh no! <laughs> My hands holding up. They're they're all right. And I've only been to that one part once. It was like the first, my first try. I made it far and then after that, never again. The red hair loop. Oh. How I want to see you again. And style my hair with your loop. No! I'm not gonna make it like that! Not with jumps like that! 
Oh no. I think Marcel is my favorite dungeon meshy character. And one of my favorite things about her is how her hairstyle changes. <laughs> like every episode. She's so cute. She's everyone's, as she should be. As she should be. She does, she puts so much care into it. I like Fallen too. And I like Chill Chuck. Chill Chuck is cute. She's the poster girl. She's the best, Marcel. But I can't talk about it too much because I don't want to spoil it because it's currently airing. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. I'm gonna fall the other way eventually with this being too casual about it. The thing that Marcel did in the last episode also makes her my favorite. I didn't think I could <gasps> like her anymore. And then she pulls that out and I'm like, oh, I like her even more now. <laughs> spoiler, that's not a spoiler. I'm being vague about it. No spoilers. I won't spoil it, but you should watch it. It's very good. I want to watch the Apothecary Diaries, too. I haven't been watching it, but I want to. Uh -oh. I should. It's so good. It's very good. Mau Mau is the best. <laughs> I want to watch it. Is it still airing? Maybe now that Free Run is done, I will. I'll put it on my watch list. Oh, it just ended? Well, that's good. I can binge it then. <laughs> I usually don't watch anime as it airs, but I did that with Free Rin, and I've been doing that with Dungeon Meshi, and it's been kind of nice. Though I feel like both of those shows, oh no, work well watching them one episode at a time. There's not usually like crazy cliffhangers in them. I don't know, maybe the crazy cliffhangers are part of watching it weekly. But whenever I tried to watch something that would have cliffhangers like that, or like too much action, you know, too much plot, I feel like I would forget what was happening <laughs> between each week. And then I would come back and have no idea what was going on. I've seen Villainous level 99. No, is that the same? Is that the same as my life as a villainess? Yeah. Yeah. No! That wasn't a jump. That wasn't a jump. Yeah. Oh, it's not the same. <laughs> yeah, what's the difference? How can there be two animes both called Villainess? Excuse me? There should only be one anime that uses the word Villainess. Otherwise, I'll get confused. 
Won't they think of the faunas? There are a million light novels with that genre? Since when? <laughs> Don't tell me since forever. Is the one in my next life as a villainess? Was that not even the first one? Since like 2020? I mean, that was like yesterday, yeah. right? <laughs> almost, almost half a decade ago. No, that was like yesterday. Yeah. 2020. Yeah. Nothing has happened since then. No time has passed. <laughs> oh no. Free Rin take. We'll see, I'm old just like Free Rin. So it makes sense, right? Oh. I'm scared, but you can't be scared. No, oh, that wasn't good enough! <laughs> Why is this jump so hard now? Why? Is it because I'm scared? Too much fear? Good enough, oh, oh, good enough, oh, oh, good enough, oh, oh, good enough, oh, oh. <sighs> Say I ain't good enough, climbing this da-da-da. Talking about things that I should know. This mountain's a bum to me. Yeah, am I grabbing too early? It's so hard. <laughs> Sing Pumpkin Hill. Hold on, how does Pumpkin Hill go? I ain't gonna let it get to me. I'm just gonna cling. Climbing up this mountain? I can feel it in my feet. <laughs> Go. Why did I forget? I forgot how it goes. Down in Pumpkin Hill, I got to find my lost piece. I know that it's here. I can feel it in my feet. The great emerald's power allows me to feel. Oh! No! No! You know me, the climbing freak fauna. <laughs> kind of, I kind of am. I do have a thing for climbing games. Somehow. Club me down in front of a climbing game like this. Oh no. I mean, I had no excuse for that. <laughs> we're getting, we're getting lazy with this one. Try being bald? I wish I could. I'm not allowed to shave my head because my hair is simply too valuable. It's insured for $20,000. So I'm not allowed to remove it. The funky music will help. No! Which monkey music? <laughs> Bring out the bald cap. The Baba is you one? No, that's the worst one. 
Wait, no, maybe it's not. Maybe the other one we made was worse. The one we only listened to one loop of. That one's probably worse. The fast one. The one with maximum distortion. The Baba is you one really does sound like Baba is you. No! I'm too fast! He's going too fast! Did you guys also get the video in your recommended that was like why Steam is full of cat games now? I clicked on it. I didn't know anything about this. Because I was, well, I was like, well, what's wrong with that? I see no problems. So apparently Steam is full of free to play. Find the cat games. Find the hidden cat games. Actually, I didn't finish the video, so I don't even remember what the conclusion was. No. But apparently there's just tons of them. I don't know why. I don't know what nefarious purpose people have with creating the cat games. They sell DLC. I see. So it's just like you make an easy game and you release it for free. And then you have to pay to find extra cats. <laughs> but why don't people just... Oh no. Download the next free cat game. Instead of paying for the DLC. I guess they get attached to these specific cats maybe. But you know it's bad because I watched the video. And I after I watched... Just not even the whole thing, just like a little bit of it. I was like, oh, I bet I could make that kind of game. Maybe I should release a free hidden cat game. <laughs> you just have to draw the background. Oh no, and hide some cats in there. Neko Atsume. I miss Neko Atsume. Neko Atsume was so good. I will make the next Neko Atsume. <laughs> and it'll be free on Steam. And then I'll pump it full of microtransactions. Ooh! Made it somehow. Oh. You wouldn't. <laughs> to get the black cats, it's gonna run you an extra $21. Each. That is evil. <laughs> you monster. Is that how the cat games work? $21 for a recolor. It's all because of that horse armor. The stupid horse armor. Here we are. Uh-oh. <laughs> God. Curse you, Todd Howard. Bring me Elder Scrolls 6 stat. I should be careful at this part. <laughs> oh. Oblivion when? I want to play The Witcher first, I think. I mean, not that it's... I don't know if it's really similar at all. I mean, they're both fantasy RPGs, right? 
I want to see what this The Witcher is all about. Who this John Witcher is. <laughs> kind of very different. <laughs> but people like The Witcher. Will I ever play Death Stranding? I want to play it. I don't know if I would stream it though. It's a lot of walking, right? <laughs> I mean, I guess this is also like just a walking simulator. But instead of walking, you're climbing. It's a Zatsu game. But the Zatsus are interrupted by moments of abstract and sad storytelling. <laughs> and strange, abstract, strange, and sad storytelling. You're sold. Oh, I'm scared. How do I stop being scared? No! Do we need the monkey music? Oh my gosh. Are we ever getting out of here? It's been two hours. I really thought I would finish it by two hours. Oh no. At least this music is a more accurate representation of my mind right now. My mind in the water, it is spinning way out in the water. See it spinning. Is that how it goes? <laughs> this monkey's got to heaven. This monkey's got to heaven. We should make the holy monkey music. Where it's like, you know what I mean? We just need a chorus of angels to make the the vocals, because you know I can't do it. <laughs> sad if he's not actually Boromir <laughs> but if he's just dressed up as a as a real person if he's not wearing the Boromir outfit I'm gonna be so I'm gonna be so disappointed if that were to be the case I would be truly heartbroken <laughs> If he was not dressed up like Boromir. Why would you set yourself up like this? No! I'm a big Boromir fan. My favorite character in Lord of the Rings. Everybody knows this. How much of a Boromir fan I am. Oh yeah, name five 
have Boromirs. Um, we have a Boromir. We have Faramir. We have Dadamir. We have Uncle Amir. We have Sisamir. There you go. For a mere bird. <laughs> that only works with, well actually it does kind of work with everybody. But it mo works most with Aragorn. Son of Arathorn. Son of Araborn. Son of Arathorn. Ooh, that was a close one. Just do it. <laughs> Hold on. From where shall I swing? No, it was so close! <laughs> Just don't grab it prematurely. Don't grab it prematurely. I think that's the key. It's because I'm scared, so I'm grabbing. But if you love something, you have to let it go. That's why I let Boromir go. I fired him. I'm sorry, Boromir. You're being let go. We've decided to replace you with Faramir. I'm sure this will not cause any familial conflict. We all know my real favorite character from Lord of the Rings is Smeagol. I like the spider too though. What's the spider's name again? Not <laughs> tree beard. She love. No. <laughs> it's she love. I kind of think the she love did nothing wrong. She love was just doing giant spider things. Like, what do you expect a giant spider to do? Do you expect a giant spider to not, like, eat people? And put them in webs? <laughs> this is what she does. But she is not a spider? I don't know. Looks like a spider to me. I mean, they were the ones who went into her lair. She didn't even go out and get them. I mean, granted, they may have been misled by my aforementioned favorite character, Smeagol, who may actually be evil. Oh no, it was so Important character. The day would not have been saved if it were not for Smeagol. It's 
so important that they made a game out of him. I want to see this game. I was on Steam today, browsing as I do, and I saw that there's, okay, I first of all, I thought Telltale was like done, done so. But there is like a new, new as it, no, as it came out, like at the end of last year, Telltale game. They got bought? They made a Telltale game of The Expanse. Which is a show that I watched, except I didn't finish it. <laughs> but I enjoyed what I did watch. And you play as my favorite character from the show, Kamina Drummer, the best character, best girl. You play as best girl. I had no idea. <laughs> but then it doesn't have very good reviews on Steam. Well, the recent reviews are mixed. But overall, the reviews aren't that bad. But I haven't, I played a tiny bit of the wolf Amogus way back in the day. And I thought it was so cool back then, but I actually didn't own it. My friend owned it <laughs> and I played it on her computer. I'm pretty sure we were like having a sleepover and I woke up earlier than her and I just started playing it on her computer <laughs> while she was sleeping. <laughs> And that's the only time I played a Telltale game, but I thought it was really fun and cool. And I don't know why I never played another one, even though I've always been like interested. I don't know why I never bothered to play it by myself. I guess because a lot of them are like, based on shows and stuff that I haven't watched before. The Wolf Mogus was an original story based on fairy tales, which I do love me some fairy tales. Yeah, like Walking Dead, which I have not seen. But isn't the Walking Dead Telltale game good, people say? Oh, it's based on the comic? Wait, The Wolf Among Us is based on a comic? Or Walking Dead? Walking Dead is based on a comic. Both? Oh. I didn't know. Oh no. <laughs> you bought this game thinking it was gonna have this music you played in the background and felt really playing the music. Oh no. I'm sorry, you don't have the monkey music to to accompany you in your game. It is indeed just me playing this silly music. I don't think you're the only one to think that though, so don't don't feel dumb. <laughs> no! I'm kidding! We're getting, we're getting lazy. <laughs> no. That means it fits. Even this weird Baba is you monkey music that I've created. Just, just 24 minutes. No. Please, <laughs> to ever do it. Can't I just win while doing nothing? Like Luigi in Mario Party. Haven't I earned that right? Being green. No! I'm more like yo 
Yoshi? That's the nicest thing anyone has ever said to me. Thank you. Usually everybody's like, no, you're like Luigi. I guess I say, ow! <laughs> And I'm old, like a dinosaur. And I'm not really Italian, as far as I know. <gasps> Only British. You <laughs> like my not really? I mean... You never really know, right? Uh-oh. Yeah, you've heard me sing Ave Maria. Is that, is that Latin? <laughs> That's Latin. Close enough. My rendition is pretty good. There might be something there. <laughs> no! Why? Where am I going? Where are you going? Where are you going? <laughs> I got scared. That <laughs> was just a prequel to Italian. Well, can't you say that about any romance language? Can you? Well, I guess, is it a romance language because it came from Rome? Or is it a romance language because you speak it and people go, oh, ooh la la. That sounded so, <laughs> so nice. My heart is pounding. <laughs> I think it's the second one. <laughs> That's why we went to Venice for Valentine's Day on the gondola. Except I wanted it to be Paris, but then <laughs> or anywhere in France, but I was like, are there even any canals in France? No! I feel like I'm getting worse. There's a river. La Seine. Where's La Seine? I never remember. How bad is it if you get the gender wrong? of the nouns that you're talking about when you're speaking another language. Like, people will still understand you, right? But are they gonna be like... I don't know, what will they think of you? <laughs> How will they judge you? They'll deport you? Straight to jail? <laughs> In Spanish, not that bad, just sounds off. <laughs> Silly foreigner. <laughs> Pretty normal mistake. <laughs> no, I'm so close! Grab it, grab it, go! No! <laughs> Do native speakers ever mix it up? I feel like I would. What if it's a word you're not that familiar with? Do you just have to guess? No, not really. <laughs> but what if it's like a really, really niche word? Like boric acid. I guess it would probably just be acid. And you probably know acid. <laughs> That's masculine or feminine. Mm. 
The boric acid? <laughs> La boric acid? <laughs> La seed, but I guess. <laughs> La seed boric? The <laughs> boric acid. The epic boric acid. Oh no. <laughs> El acid. Borico. Are you just making it up or is that real? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know anymore. <laughs> it's real? I'm trying to think of like nouns, like uncommon nouns. But I, I can't think of any. I keep trying to think of uncommon nouns and my brain is literally giving me like the most common nouns in existence. Like, oh, oh, try newspaper. <laughs> I bet they won't know newspaper. It's like, that's like one of the first words that you learn when you're learning any foreign language. That's not an unusual noun at all. <laughs> Platypus. No, he grabbed it. What am I supposed to do? Platypus is like so unusual that it loops back to being usual again. What about like the tardigrade? The <laughs> tardigrade? La? El tardigrado? Peperonia. Pepperoncini. <laughs> now don't mess it up. <laughs> is this just me or is the music kind of scary? <laughs> It's been scary. Music to climb. Mountains too. Do you ever listen to those playlists on YouTube that are like music for sharks only? And then you listen to it even though you're not a shark. And you're like, hee 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 hee. They can't stop me. No, you don't? I just wanna hear what Gura hears. Maybe you guys don't listen to those playlists. <laughs> I love me the oddly specific YouTube playlists. I recommend it. No. No. How could you? I like the one that's like, you are a, an 18th century villain and you're Love interest just died. That playlist. Very dramatic. Yes, you know that one? So you do know the hyper specific playlists. Sometimes you just wanna, wanna pretend. 
want to immerse yourself in another life. It's basically like reading. But instead of reading, you're just listening to YouTube playlists that people have, have made. But hey, it can expose you to some new music. Some new classical music. No! He skimmed it! He grabbed it! You skim milk? You're not even 1%, let alone 2%. You're skim. People may delude themselves into thinking that they like the taste of you. But nobody likes it. Everybody knows 2% tastes better. That's too far. No! See, he's a skim. He's skim milk right there. He's skimming the rocks. This Jonathan is nothing but skim milk. I'm wrong for that. I used to drink skim milk. I deluded myself into thinking I liked it. But then sometimes I would have like as a treat, 2% chocolate milk and like it just tastes better. It's almost like a milkshake. <laughs> And now you know I buy the full fat Oatly. It has added omegas. And added DHA. It's good, good fats, healthy fats. <laughs> Skin milk is very watery, I know. How they get so many omegas in there? From seaweed, I think. Throw that in there. That's how you can make a nice matcha latte with the full fat Oatly. Oh. Yoshi sounds to climb mountains too. I love when Apollo the parrot says, Wah! <laughs> like Mario. Wah! Wah! It's the video where he says, That's the wow! That one. That's probably my favorite. Hollow video. Just <laughs> joined, still stuck here. Actually, I'm not stuck. I'm making great, great strides. Great progress. <gasps> great climbing. Great hand cramming. I'm just stretching it out for content. I was ready. I was ready to beat it in 20 minutes. And then I was ready to hear the accusations. Like, oh, Fauna, you probably beat it off screen. You probably practiced it off screen. Cool. And I would be like, <laughs> Actually, I didn't practice it off screen. Actually, I just beat it first try. <laughs> but, um, maybe no one is going to be accusing me of that after all. It'd be very 
careful. Oh no. No! No, no, no! No, 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 no! <laughs> no, no, no! Need more power in the swing. That's gotta hurt IRL. It hurts my hands. It hurts my hands, IRL. There's an external mod to get rid of the flap? Who would do that? What kind of person was to get rid of the flap? Are there people out there thirsting for John C. climbing? I don't know, maybe it's more like... They just don't like having things not available to them. They don't like seeing something off limits. They just wanna have the option. No. No loin cloth left unturned. Is there another mod that instead of just removing the the loin cloth, it makes it so it has realistic physics? Because I think there's some privacy physics added to this. You know? Some idol magic. He is an idol. He doesn't even need the idol safety shorts. Because he's got the magic. <laughs> I have matcha latte in my throat. It's just a void under there. Wait, so the 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 mod removes the loincloth, but it doesn't add like a, a butt. <laughs> it doesn't even add a butt. What's the point then? My throat. Now I'm asking it. I mean, if you're gonna go so far to create that mod, you have to. <gasps> you can't just give up part way through, right? Hup. Hup. Get water, don't worry, I have water. <gasps> that was scary. Gotta listen for the sound. The sound of firm grasping. all these rocks lined up. But 
I don't think it saves you at all. This rock looks like India, <laughs> doesn't it? <laughs> this rock looks like, I don't know. You see it? <laughs> Are you okay? I'm great. Why do you ask? Like the bee boo. Firmly grasp it. No! <laughs> I saw that going bad. I saw that going bad. Now it's swinging. See it swinging way out in the water. See it swinging. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. One hand? I don't think one hand is good though. Unless it is good. It's just really wiggly. Like that? <laughs> You did it one hand? It's wobbly. Two hands is a recipe for disaster? Maybe two hands is a recipe for disaster. Like that, maybe? I'm too scared to let go. Ooh. Maybe two hands is a recipe for disaster. Okay. <laughs> Peak? I'm glad you came. Look at this! Is <laughs> Antlers right here. What's with that? I don't appreciate that messaging. I don't appreciate it. <gasps> Wait, is this the end? Oh! Wait, it was this close all along? Is this it? Oh, I'm a crown! He's got the Burger King crown! Keep going. Did I do it? I got an achievement. Look, he's got the Burger King crown. How do I climb the house though? It's slippery. There's some more up there. Oh. Wait, but how much more? Did I win or not? <laughs> Did I win or not? Wait, was this just the mountain peak? We are going to space. It was a fake ending? But they gave me the Burger King crown! Ooh. That was scary. <laughs> I'm scared! I'm afraid! He's... Oh. I'm scared. <laughs> Why is he slipping so much? No, 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 no. Firmly grasp it. He has... 
has declined to firmly grasp it. What am I supposed to do? He loves to slip. And it's just like the skim milk kind of guy he is. We love to slip. We love to slide. <laughs> Where even are these clouds? This is like programmer art, but clouds. When you couldn't find a 3D asset on the Unity store for clouds, it would work for your games. So you had to model them yourself. What is this? What is this? Am I like climbing out of some... Is this like a Truman Show situation? <laughs> what is this? Should I turn the music off? Oh, is this the end? Oh, can I climb the names? <laughs> yes! Oh, it's a Betty Foddy! Yay! Betty Foddy! Oh, his wife, Vivian! That's cute. That's cute. And thank you for your suffering. Remember, to live is to suffer. To survive is to find. <laughs> oh my gosh! He puts a... Nisha quote at the end. I can't believe it. You wouldn't have a climbing game without some. I, f I can't. I can't pronounce his name. <laughs> Nisha. Nisha. Yeah. Are we back to the start now? The monkey music. True ending. <gasps> We're back at the start. The loop begins. We did it. We beat the game. We beat the game. I was so close. Oh my gosh. I was so... If I had gotten that jump, it would have been like 20 minutes. <laughs> now do it again. I kind of want to. I want to watch the speed run. I'm going to look up the speed run. A difficult game about climbing speed run. 26 seconds. That doesn't seem right. 519? That one? Maybe? Let's have a look. I'm gonna watch it. I'm watching it. Worst react stream. Whoa, they're fast. <laughs> Worst react streamer doesn't show what she's reacting to on the screen. Oh my gosh. <laughs> they're kind of, it's kind of creepy. The speed? <laughs> Who is scrambling? I guess we can have the monkey music still. Wait, no, I know what we need. Hold on. I should have had this ready. We need... This is what we need! <laughs> I did it. Okay, he's scrambling for sure. Back to watching. It doesn't seem like too anything too crazy though. They're just like going fast. <laughs> At least so far. They're going quite fast. They're scrambling. Oh, they show their mouse movement on the side, too. 
Oh, there is a shortcut there. Into the pool, there's a shortcut. Interesting. Efficient grabbing of the wall. Yeah, the clothesline. Whoa. <laughs> This guy is scrambling. Oh, I remember all of this. <laughs> I know horizontally goes so fast. What is this? What is this? What is this? This is a shortcut you can take? You can climb that thing? Is that what all the, the hand marks are supposed to show you? <laughs> you straight climbing. Whoa. It's hard, it seems hard. Can you do this on controller? I don't know. Oh, now he's at this part. Interesting. They do, they just like go fast. <laughs> I thought it would be like, I don't know what I thought. I thought they would be doing some movements that are, ab well, these are kind of insane movements, but it is like, like just go fast. <laughs> Just do it again, but go fast. Give them a couple years. When will they break sub one minute? Okay, the ice part that we just suffered with for, for too long, maybe. What is this? What is that? That's a shortcut. Oh. Oh. So is that the scramble skip? <laughs> this seems very hard. But it's scrambling up the ice. Oh, you don't even have to do the the red thing you don't even have to do it <laughs> you just skipped it i need to learn how to scramble dang very fast I'm very slow. I see, I see. Confident scrambling cat. <laughs> Use the buggy music. Yeah, I don't know if it's a legit speed run. Wait, I just realized they show you the. I just realized this in the corner. Look at this. They want you to speed run it. <laughs> yeah, I didn't show that before. Now it does. Do you get something special for getting like 50 clears? Do you get. Do you get a shiny loincloth? Shiny gold loincloth? I guess you have a crown. You have the. It's literally a Burger King crown. Golden loincloth. <laughs> you smell speedrun? Okay, I'm not gonna actually speedrun it because I don't think I can yet, but I do want to see how fast I would be at the first part. Was this wheel always here also? Or did they add that? Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, I remember this part. You gotta scramble? I'm not ready to scramble yet. We're not at scrambling territory. Oh <laughs> no. <laughs> how how important is your hand placement on this one? Does it does it gotta be perfect? Maybe. <laughs> I won my Burger King crown. Oh, this jump is like nothing now. That jump caused me a lot of trouble before. I can't scramble. Uh oh. <laughs> it definitely is. I've definitely learned. I'm better now than I was before. Though I believe that the ice section I just did would still be very difficult. <laughs> Also, I already forgot the route, the route for optimal speed. So I'm just going whichever way. Got it? Uh oh! Uh oh! Okay. Is that my first fall? I don't know how far I want to go. I don't want to beat it again. Because I think it's going to take me two hours to do the end part again. <laughs> Because it just took me two hours. But it is tempting. The speed runs are always calling my name. Tino <gasps> Nawa. Scramble! I'm not scrambling at all. Is there a shortcut here? Uh oh! <laughs> oh no! The anti shortcut! That's what I call that. Oh no. <laughs> they call it the long cut. The director's cut. Oh no. Oh no. Hold on, we can't fall apart so quickly. This isn't even the hard part. No, it doesn't even get hard until the gear section, at least. Maybe even the boxes. Maybe it doesn't even get hard until the oh, the water section. This is all the tutorial. Okay, no shortcuts this time. Wait, it's not showing my time. I thought I clicked. Oh, oh wait, I'm covering it. It's there. <laughs> I'm covering you with my big green head. Per usual. Can you 
grab this rock, please. Thank you. I'm not scrambling. Okay, that part is scary, I guess. I remember, I was so scared of this part. It is still a pretty high jump. Gotta have your hand properly placed. All right, we're going. Can you just skip straight to that pillar? Wait, I forgot. Where's there a shortcut here? <laughs> I don't remember from the speed run. Oops. He did. Well, this was our very first, like, learn how to jump section. I don't remember if there were other shortcuts. So loud, I can't even hear the monkey music. Oh no. No, this is where the speed run dies, Parappa. This is where the speed run died. Wanna? Oops, oops. <laughs> Does it does it time you in the pause screen? It happens. No, that's good. It is an improvement. I feel like I might be able to speed run this game. <laughs> But the, the last part, I think I definitely need more practicing. I mean, maybe this part too. Wait, is that a shortcut up there? I thought he climbed these gears though. Oh no. Flashbacks to this part. Okay, that's actually not so bad. It's not that bad. <laughs> it's doable. It's makeable. I forgot where to go. This way? Uh oh. Firmly grasp it. The number one rule of this game. Always grasp it firmly. Do you have to go that way? <laughs> I don't remember. I think this is the way I went when I played. Which I guess I'm not, I don't need to do the skips yet. Necessarily. Can you just go straight to the, the blue? shirt. <laughs> he went to blue? From here? <laughs> I'm scared. I don't know if I'm ready. I mean, 
mean, we don't have to do any crazy skips. Ooh. Should I try to jump though? How hard is it to go straight to the pool? From here. This is where I washed my speed and die. Oops, oops. I just can't help it. I just want to go fast. Oh. This is like the, the slide skip. I haven't mastered my slide skip yet. No! No, maybe this is like, you know at the start, there's like that branch that looks exactly like my, my horn. And you can go from that straight to the other side and there's like a pit that you can avoid. That's like what this is. We're not even at the slide yet. Eh, no, my hand hurts. My hand hurts. Ow. This is where I triggered my carpal tunnel. Parappa. This is where you got repetitive stress injury, Fauna. <laughs> Please. Am I not tall enough? Not even with my long giraffe legs. I'm here for two minutes. The timer is making me nervous. <laughs> Watch the speed run again. Please. Okay. No, 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 no. Can't grab that. Let it be known that you cannot grab that. Now be careful. I remember, I thought that was like the worst that it could ever get. Boy, was I. Misinformed! No! Restart the run. <laughs> I'm gonna be here all day if I do this. I can't actually do this. But it calls to me. The speed run, it calls to me. Oh, get your hand in the right position. That's better. We saved a minute this time. Now that jump seems easy. So it turns out this game does have... Oh no! <laughs> I wanna 
do is so bad. I want to speed run it so bad, but 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 I'm too bad to speed run it. This game, you can learn the mechanics. It turns out. Like getting to that part in seven minutes, which took me like five hours before. It's it's encouraging, you know. Can you firmly grasp it though? Please. Thank you. <laughs> I'm not scrambling though. Oh gosh. Okay, just because you beat it once doesn't mean you are never going to slip and fall again. Just remember that. Before you get overconfident. This is John C. Climbing we're talking about. He loves the slip and slide. You know that he does. Don't you ever forget it. And he loves skim milk. Yes, he does. to me teaching other members. I don't know, I don't know if I'm gonna get there in this game. I feel like I'm, I mean, the early section is like easy, right? Just cause I can do this part somewhat quickly doesn't mean I'm gonna be able to do the other parts. Uh oh. Okay. Very good. Can't you grab? Okay, I don't know if I want to <laughs> skip here. Because last time I tried, I just fell down. The whole way. I'm just gonna go the safe way. And be careful here. Oh no! I said be careful here. <laughs> Careful. My hand hurts. Ow, jeez. Ow. <laughs> My fingers. I need to like calibrate my controller. I should make it so it has really light triggers. <laughs> That's the, the way. I don't know, I feel like when you're trying to go fast, your fingers don't get any break. Whoa. That's like a skip. I will take it. Oh, oh. I feel like my arms got longer. I feel like after 
after you beat it once, you get a longer wingspan. No way were my arms this long before. Okay, this part is still a little tricky. Like maybe an extra two inches on his wingspan. <laughs> maybe I've just learned to utilize all of John Climbing's <gasps> strengths. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, like I said, learn to utilize all strengths. I do like the Burger King crown. Uh oh. I didn't go for it, I didn't go for it. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. Just skim milk straight. I like any game that gives me a crown. I'm not, I'm not ready yet. <laughs> See, how long did that take me? Like the first time I did it? Like seven hours. <laughs> oh, you don't even have to jump that. See, I swear my wingspan is longer. Maybe I'm just good now. Three to four hours. Like I said, maybe I'm just good now. This, uh, this is this is skill right here. Firmly grasp it with your long wingspan. Firmly. Firmly grasp it! Okay. Be on the edge. And swing for it. Good. Not to do the pool skip. I make an informed decision. I just don't like I just don't like grabbing these. <laughs> these underwear. Everywhere I grab feels wrong. I'm just trying to grab it on the edge. <laughs> That's not really where I want to be. Hold on. Can you just grab it on the edge, please? I know you can grab it. Okay. 
The tie is a red heron. <laughs> Herring. Okay, you can skip right to this one, I think. Can you skip right to that one? I'm a little scared. Why did they have to make it green? As bad. How did I do this before? Oh no. <laughs> Maybe it's good to skip it? Do you have to jump though? He's not reaching. You don't have to jump to reach that one? Yeah, his arm shrunk back to normal. I lost my Burger King buff, I think. <laughs> Got a swing? Uh-oh. He's slipping. I don't know if I'm qualified. Away from this one? Oh no. It's like too much swing now. I've become too much of a swing master. You. You green? You green? Check the tapes. But I'm in my run right now. No time to stop. You smell the roses. Or check the tapes. <laughs> These things are harder to grab than you think. <laughs> Grasp it firmly. I'm scared! <laughs> I feel like I'm having more trouble with it now than I did when I was actually here. Oh no. The hesitation. No time to relax in the pool right now. We've got to climb. No! <laughs> Not the slide. Hop, hop, hop. No! It's too much, it's too much. I'm overshooting it. The precision grabs, I almost grabbed the green one. You can reach blue from blue. Do you have to be swinging though? Oh, I grabbed a green one on the way down. You go to the bottom of the pool. Like those pool toys that go to the bottom and then you have to dive down to collect them. Don't those seem kind of dangerous though? But I loved playing with those. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
It's really close from yellow. <laughs> Can you reach it? You can, you can do it, John! Jonathan! Jonathan! I guess like that. Now we swing. Maybe I should use both hands. I need one hand for grabbing though. Okay, I guess two hands is better. Oh, is he always gonna fall off? Or is he always gonna go to the ring instead? Oh! Slightly scary. The ring? The wheel, I mean? <laughs> he just like stayed completely in the center. And it worked out. That's not how I did it though. Uh oh. I'm pretty sure I swung on it. Uh oh. <laughs> Too much swing. Too much swing. I just scramble fast. I'm no scrambler though. Oh, you gotta understand, sir. I'm not much of a scrambler, you see? Can't you, can't you find a different job for me? I'm not much of a scrambler. But I'll try my hardest anyway. You just, you just put me in somewhere else where I don't have to scramble, you see? What is this impression? My favorite 1940s film. Rabbit. It's like the opposite of what you tell your dog. Drop it, drop it, grab it, grab it. I don't like how my hand is clipping through this thing. We're almost back to the boxes. My beloved. Time for the skip? Wait, there's a skip? Wait, what's the box skip again? Up the pole? I can't go up the pole. There's no way. I can't do the pillar scramble. Oops, it's just not possible. For little old me. I already know. You gotta believe I'm on a controller. No, that's what I believe. Oh gosh. Can you reach it? I don't know. I think my time.
time he's off on this thing. This is like a time sink right here. This part kills your runs. I can see why. No. Maybe I need to go earlier. My scrambling's not so fast. No! My scrambling! Gotta get the proper hand placement. Alright, get a swinging. Get a swinging. Okay. Not so bad. This? I'm not a scrambler. I've never been. <laughs> I'm not a scrambler. Both hands. I'm not a scrambler. I'm not a rapper. I don't remember the rest. Don't worry, because I'm not afraid of the boxes anymore. See? Oh no! <laughs> maybe I should be. Maybe I should be. You can just jump. And it's not so bad. <laughs> it was the swinging. They ruined us before. Oh! oh! You can be saved. There is mercy. Okay. Okay. monster <laughs> such fond memories the run killer is this new anvil maybe the speed run dies here it probably does die here oh no <laughs> It does. But I'll give it a little, a little bore. We'll see. Yeah, are you not supposed to swing? I did feel like swinging was not. Sometimes it was better when I didn't get much. Swing. But do, do you need no swing? No swing. Yeah. <laughs> 
Only a little. Didn't we talk about Twilight right at this exact spot? Yes. In my dream that I had. Oh, right. Where I was playing this game and talking. <gasps> I remember I was talking about Twilight and I thought I had some like poignant, something poignant to say about it. But now, then I woke up and I couldn't remember. I feel like I had some great revelation about Twilight in my dream and then I woke up and I couldn't remember. <laughs> About Twilight? No, I feel like I I knew something. It wasn't just about Edward going to high school. I really, I think it was actually. Oops, about Edward going to high school. But in my dream, I feel like I had a way to like solve that problem. I guess there is a way. It's just like have him not go to high school. Woohoo! Woohoo! I'm turning into Mario. Woohoo! Okie dokie. Woohoo! Oh gosh, that was scary. Hop! Oh no, this part. I forgot about this jump. Oh, you need a little more than that. Sanity points going down. My speed run though. I feel like it's actually possible. I feel like I could get sub one hour. Maybe not today, but eventually. I feel like I could. <laughs> We're elephant now. <laughs> Speedrunner does it by scrambling. I don't scramble though. I'm not a scrambler. I like my eggs fried. Shaken, not scrambled. No! <laughs> Don't shake your eggs. What, it's not like a can of coconut milk? You can't just like shake it up before you break it and then it will be like... You don't have to like get a separate bowl and stir it up before you make your scrambled eggs. You can't just like shake it up. <laughs> the heck? <laughs> you never do that? Shake coconuts? No, no, you're like can of coconut milk because you know it separates. The fat part separates from the water. So sometimes you shake it up before you open it. <laughs> Technically you can, it just takes a lot of force. Sounds, sounds like a job for me. Sounds like I could have the force necessary. You put your eggs in a centrifuge! That's a great idea. I should try that. Have you guys ever seen those giant centrifuges? I think like the... So they always ha come with a warning like may cause death if improperly used. Yeah. They are scary. Yeah. And I feel like every... <laughs> every lab... like professor will tell you yep. if there's a centrifuge, they'll tell you the same 
mythological story to get you to be afraid of it so you don't use it improperly improperly they'll tell you the story of a young student who mistakenly imbalanced the centrifuge and then left it to run overnight and then the next day came into the lab to discover that the centrifuge had busted through the wall of the lab from being imbalanced and had walked to the lab next door, straight through the wall. So you should always fear the centrifuge. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> They do that? I don't know. I don't know if it's just an urban legend or if it's actually happened, but I feel like they always tell you that. So that you'll be afraid of it. You heard the same story? See, I suspected. I suspected. Because, you know, like I heard it and then immediately I'm like, well, okay. So like, where's this busted down wall then? Like, I don't see any busted down walls. Oh, they fixed it? Yeah, likely story. You weren't that student. The centrifuge urban legends. But they do still scare me. Lab coffee pasta. You repaired the wall. You were the wall. I'm sorry. That a centrifuge busted through you like the Kool Aid Man. Uh, uh. I don't know if I can do this. It's just so, it's just so tempting. They just make you want to go, oh, just one more time. I can get it next time. I'm so close. It's true, my uncle works in the centrifuge. Okay, but the human centrifuge at like those carnivals was always my favorite ride. And what is it if not a human centrifuge? They even line you up properly, like a centrifuge. <laughs> if you've ever wondered what it felt like to be a little sample getting spun down into a pellet, just go to a carnival and get in the the spinator. You hate those? <gasps> those were always my favorite. <laughs> I like when you stick to the wall and then like you can you can move yourself so your feet aren't touching the ground. It's like you're levitating. <laughs> the organ sorter. <laughs> People would do it upside down. Okay, I don't know about that. I don't know, those carnivals always were kind of scary though. Like it felt like the rhymes might not work at all. Like they might just break down. And it will actually become the organ sorter. This sounds dangerous. I don't know, isn't like the centrifugal force nice? It's a nice feeling. It's like a weighted blanket. A nice hug, you know? Sometimes you just wanna feel, feel the weight on you. <laughs> a scary hug. Overly restrictive. Yeah, I can see that, which is interesting because I actually like hate that feeling in other situations. Like I get really claustrophobic. Like if my if my blanket gets like wrapped around my legs and I like can't move my legs, I like I feel the claustrophobia set in and I have to like quickly undo the blanket. So I don't know. It 
feel the urge to kick? Yeah, for me, it's any time that I like know I can't like straighten out my body. Even though I'm a, sl a slide sleeper, <laughs> a side sleeper. Oh, and I... I don't sleep with my legs straight out. I sleep all curled up. Well, usually one leg straight and then one leg tucked, you know, you know. Slime sleeper. No! <laughs> Optimal cooling. And then if you have a body pillow, you can like hug the body pillow. Sometimes I do that. I have one, but it's not like an anime waifu body pillow. It's just like a like a long, boring body pillow. Very comfy. A body pillow do you have? It's from anthropology. <laughs> it's beige and it has tassels on the end. Yeah, I know. <laughs> the herd! <laughs> I know, I know. Is it one that's more firm? It is! It's more firm than a regular pillow. Cry for help. No, I'll only go until the timer hits 40 minutes. Unless I've made progress and then I'll keep going. I'll stop when it hits 40 minutes. <laughs> There's a Smeagol body pillow, really? For me? Cause who else would buy that? <laughs> Are they just waiting for me to buy it so they can get their first sale? Cause I don't think anybody else is buying it. I think I'm the only Smeagol fan. But that's, that's why I like him so much. He's just misunderstood. He needs me. <laughs> If he didn't have me, he wouldn't have anybody. He wouldn't have any fans. That's why he's gotta have me. I can fix him. He doesn't need the ring. He just needs me. I'll just give him a sock or something and then he'll be happy, right? That's how it works. Wrong, wrong movie. Oh. Wrong universe. He's not an elf. He's like a hobbit though. A proto hobbit. Which is nothing like an elf, I guess. Except that my friend once said that I would be a hobbit if I were any fantasy race, and then I resent that, and I think I'm more like an elf. So in that case, hobbits are basically the same as elves, very similar. That's why someone could be confused and think that I'm more like a hobbit. 100% hobbit and energy. Hobbit? Hobbit energy? Why? Is it because I'm trying to make sourdough bread? But I'm failing, so I'm more like an elf, right? We can elves make sourdough bread? If I were really a hobbit, I would have figured out the bread by now, right? Cottage core. Uh, I guess elves are not really cottage core. What if the rings elves are known for their bread? Actually, maybe I don't want.
want to be an elf if they have to eat Lambus bread. It doesn't look very good. Oh, oh. Okay, it's 40, but I haven't fallen yet, so I get to keep going. This is it, this is for all the marbles. Hobbits are just like, they just want to like chill and eat yummy food and like take care of a garden and stuff. I guess elves are like, I don't know. Are they like doing stuff? Oh, do I have to jump here? <laughs> Drama 24 7. Eat potato. Elves are hot hobbits? That makes it even worse if I'm just a hobbit. I thought it's because I like a simple cottage coexistence. But it was. It was <laughs> there was another option this whole time. <laughs> If I was just hot enough? <laughs> it's because of my furry feet! <laughs> Do I have to jump? Oh! I'm scared. My hands are sweaty. I guess elves would never have sweaty hands. You're too perfect to have sweaty hands. Hobbits though, probably have sweaty hands. <laughs> uh oh. Okay. Elves don't sweat? Must be nice. Oh. I want to grab the mushrooms. Don't grab the cute mushrooms. up in here really quick. I'm not large enough. Can I be an elf if I'm large and tall? More like a treant? Come on. Just let me be an elf. I can't <laughs> no elves? Should I put on my hat?
but I already moved myself. No, not with those ears. I just want to be Marcel so bad. Hats aren't very elfy. Is that true? Wizard elf? Is like an all time classic, though. I'm too small. Look, now I'm a hobbit for real. That's fine. Not a hairless dwarf. <laughs> Rock and stone. <laughs> I'm Tom Bombadil, actually. I'm a god, a living god of the forest. You could give me the ring. I won't even, it won't even, it's just like another piece of jewelry to me. <laughs> Whatever you say, movie only fan. I read the books up to where Tom Bombadil appears. I was so mad that he's not in the movies. Because he seemed like the most important person in the universe. He's like so strong. How could they not put him in the movie? <laughs> 100 pages. I got to the part where they are at... What's the name? The elf city. And then they're talking about what to do with the ring. I got to that part. Yeah, Rivendell. I got to Rivendell. And that's where I stopped. <laughs> but maybe I'll try again. That's way past Bombadil. Exactly. Exactly. I read at least 200 pages. <laughs> I want to be an elf. <laughs> um, my hometown of Rivendell. Dang it! And I know the Shire. I know the Shire. I would never forget that name. <laughs> I know it well. Frodo. My British accent is not good enough to be a hobbit. I guess everyone has a British accent though. In Lord of the Rings. Do they? <laughs> Can I just be Gandalf? <laughs> Smeagol doesn't? Oh no. In New Zealand, but they have British accents, right? <laughs> they don't have New Zealand accents, do they? Cause, cause Tolkien is British, was British, I guess. I don't know. They have a few accents. You 
do have no I know there's New Zealand accents. I mean in in the Lord of the Rings movies. Though they were filmed in New Zealand, they're not set in New Zealand. It's set in <laughs> It's set in Middle Earth. <laughs> Documentary? Why is Middle Earth on a map? There's a map! They drew it! It's in like the, the books! You can like unfold it and hang it up on your wall. Put it in your dorm room. <laughs> Certainly explain the giant spiders. Don't believe it. Coded of me. You're just saying that about everything now. It's not a true story. <laughs> Reign of Shelob. I can't win. I can't win. <laughs> Be Sam, that's fine. Sam is like the best character anyway. Okay, okay. I read the super chance. Thank you, Rainy. Now we beat the game. Where's my crown? Where's my Burger King crown? We did it. We actually did it. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out. Potatoes. Boil them, mash them. Stick them in the stew. Katie, Akron, Shiroki, Jeff Fest, Invisible Moose, Mr. Abby, Orders, and Drexter Rose. Urko B, Crony, to Clear Eye, Pizza, Hyge, IDK, Silence, Flea Paul, Shrub, IDK, Spirit Vet, King Shark, Usenel, Tridala, Nathan, Sir K, Benjo, Spider Man, Copper Chef, Inoshi, Sand Tom, and Chief Beast, Silly Buns. Sniff, Awesome Place, I Run the Wind, Emery Ray, Hero, Seven, Sluk, Wombat, Sismonsi, Ivy, Tentacle to Sky Jew, Rainy Sup, Wash Mushi, Hypno Shaker, Misery, Kevin C, Napu, Mortal Tom, Thurman, Red Knox, and the Moon Dark King Freak, Mr. Buffer, Evan, Aster, Sakura, Vexel, Omelette, Book, Fictionalist, Andrew, Wolfhound, Cash Raider, Neo Sky, Star Side, Thank you, Fee. Aron, Super Rice, Ghosty, Super Zero, Chino, Sapphire, Sam, Reconcile, Elgin, and Great Move, Diego, Arpel, Alexander, Lunar, Echo South, Photon, May, Something But, Sayano, Viper, KP, Susan, Gabaka, Giorgio, Jim Lynx, Ethan, Archer, Spider Tracker, Mikate, Elsar, Dylan Ward, Jose, Casual, Moon Pie, Kari, Herman, Trick Bad, Bishop, Resident, Majidi, Matthew, Chocolate, JC, Thank you, Plantum, Plantum, God, Plantum, All, God, a Plantum, All, Sally, Rap. Spirit Vet, thank you. Oh, that's cute. You're explaining the concept of St. Patrick's Day to the JP Saplings Fun Cultural Exchange. Can I even explain St. Patrick's Day? I don't know if I even get it. You just wear green and you drink a lot. <laughs> Is that it? Green and beer <laughs> enough for me. <laughs> yeah, if you don't wear green, you get pinched. Does my hair count? If my hair counts, then I will never get pinched. <laughs> I'm immune. It's a wig, so yes, hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Sevens, thank you. Oh, I watched the extended version of all the Lord of the Rings movies. Wait, we were talking about Lord of the Rings today. I'm just saying, there's some thank you, thank you. Or for more bug facts. Neon cuckoo bees are brood parasites to lay eggs in the nests of blue banded bees. Hatching before the host larva, eating all the pollen meant for the host. <laughs> They're very pretty? Let me see. It's like the birds. Oh, they are pretty. Wait, they're, they're so blue. It's like someone made an RGB gamer bee. They're kind of scary though. 
Evan, thank you. Oh, nice. I know. <laughs> Japan has the best shopping. Look, thank you, thank you for the, the rainbow. I appreciate it. New titles made me a VOD watcher lately. I'm sorry about that, but thank you for watching the VODs. So now that some big things have come and gone, I thought now would be a good time as I need to send some super chats I've been wanting to send. First, congratulations on a great rendition of Odd Taxi. Thank you! I'm glad you liked it. That was such a fun callback. Can't imagine how exciting that had to have been performed. It was! I was very happy I got the chance to perform it. Second, congratulations on a hell of a birthday stream. The TTRPG theme was so creative and I'm flown by how versatile your goth costume turned out to be. What with the witchy accessories? Thank you! Third, let's relitigate the topic of ruled R's. Cause girl, 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 I know for a fact you can. You actually perfectly rolled your L in EP 13 of your Outer Wilds Let's Play at 3903. And I was like 80% sure you can purr, which is an unvoiced rolled R. Only kidding about rolled R's, or am I? But no, I am only kidding. Or am I? Happy streaming, Kieran is cute. <laughs> Yes, you can have a feel better being for fictionalist too. And everybody. Feel better beam! Thank you, thank you, Luke. I should try to roll my R. <laughs> How do you purr? I don't know if that's purring. <laughs> Repeated duh advice. I'm gurgling, I'm choking. It's a French R, I know. That's how I how I speak French. Butter over and over again. Do I have to pronounce the T's? Butter. Butter. Butter, 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 Louder. Butter. Butter, 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 Aaron, thank you. Finally finish, finished binge watching the festivals. You are amazing, Fauna. Too many feelings the past few days have me short and words. Have some hearts instead. Thank you, thank you. Yes, I'm so happy the VODs are out now. Thank you for watching. Leonard, thank you. I appreciate it. Dark Eco Freak, thank you. Thank you. Eldian, thank you. I know, I do. <laughs> Minik, thank you. Appreciate it. Giancarlo, thank you. Oh, you believed in me! You believed I would win, and I did. Mofu, mofu, okamu, san, arigato. 
taco person, thank you. I will play Slice and Die soon. Actually, I cannot stream tomorrow. I have an appointment. And then I have more appointments on Tuesday. <laughs> but I think I'll play it on Wednesday. I put off all my appointments. I haven't done my taxes yet. I have to do my taxes. I have an appointment though. I have an appointment to do it. I know, my taxes. The taxes, it's fine. The deadline's not not done yet. It's not here yet. It's not here yet. Thanks for the reminder. Everybody who did their taxes in January. I wish that was me. <laughs> I gotta do that, but I have an appointment. <laughs> On an IRS collab. What are taxes? Well, I already paid them. I already paid them. Cause I'm a good, a good Kieran. Well, I paid, actually, I don't know. I might have to pay more, but I paid some. <laughs> It's true, I may need to pay more, but... <laughs> Lock her up! I've been, I've been... I just... I'm slightly anxious, Kieran. That's just my normal state. Sounds convincing? I mean, it's hard to know how much you have to pay. It's like, you just, you just guess, basically. Well, I don't guess, I have... <laughs> I have someone tell me how much I should pay, and then I pay that much, and then the IRS is like, mm, no, <laughs> wrong, you guessed poorly, actually, pay more, or, or less, here's a refund, one of those two, <laughs> no, wrong, <laughs> jail, <laughs> incorrect, No, they don't send you to jail if you pay it. They just tell you how much you owe. Actually, we knew the whole time. <laughs> we have a fortune card. Nope. It's totally Queen from Delta Root behind the computer. IRS obsessed with you, but won't admit it. Majestic Bear song, thank you. Eldian, thank you. My DK tie, DK, Donkey Kong. I'm a Lanky Kong fan, cause Lanky Kong got done so dirty in the song. He has no style, he has no grace. This Kong has a funny face. <laughs> he inflates just like a balloon. I don't remember the rest. He works in IT. <laughs> Bishop, thank you. Mr. Plain, thank you. Red herrings are profoundly stinky and therefore a distraction from the true thing to worry about. Is that true? They're stinky the whole time? Hayden, thank you. Oh, that's awesome. You just search and rescue? I do not do free climbing, only in the video game. <laughs> Yukari, thank you. Oh, it's the weather's not good in Japan right now. I'm sorry, but good morning. Oh, hi, Uncle Zaimas. Bishop, thank you. <laughs> A full house. Jeff S, thank you. Oh, you finished your taxes. Congratulations. Yeah, you should. You should relax now. <laughs> I have to do that. <laughs> Skellum, thank you. Yes, I'm here for the bitter orange challenge. Oh, I miss the foddy narration. I feel like I used to have it memorized. I'm 
more tennis. Thank you. Hello, Fauna. I hope you're doing well. Today's my birthday. There's not too much to ask. Can I get a hug and a happy birthday? Thank you for your hard work you put in. Always make really entertaining streams. Thank you very much. Happy birthday. Here's your hug. And let me play for you on my kalimba. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear sapling. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Maybe I can jam. Thank you. <laughs> and on, thank you. Oh, you can eat crab apples with dipping sauce or pickle them. Interesting. Exactly, <laughs> thank you. Tadso, thank you. Great to move, thank you. Crab apple tree flowering and I would like it. Let's see. Oh. Wait, you're right, it is really pretty. Okay, I'm suddenly understanding why people would plant this. <laughs> in the grounds of their mansion. They are pretty, you're right. I don't know if I ever saw them blooming. I mean, it was in my mansion, so... <laughs> I was only there a couple times. Although most of the, the hangouts were held at said mansion, because, you know... Mansion. <laughs> They have a movie theater in there. There's one literally right outside your window. Is it blooming? You missed the story, huh? I had a very well-off friend who lived in a mansion and had a bunch of crab apples everywhere. And every time I would go, I would see all the crab apples. And it felt like they, were, they always had like a landscaper like working in the yard, like picking up the, <laughs> the fallen crab apples. It was Agent 47. It did seem like a Hitman map. There was a pool too. When <laughs> you're that rich, you call them a groundskeeper. There was a pool. There was. There was like a another building too. That we would hang out and do like arts and crafts in. Like they didn't have an arts and crafts room. They had like an arts and crafts building. Like an arts and crafts outhouse. Wait, not outhouse. Outbuilding. Outhouse is where you do your business. <laughs> they had plumbing. <laughs> was it the Queen of England? Yeah, like a studio, I guess. Yeah. The arts and crafts wing. <laughs> the shed is where you get lethal poison. <laughs> Murph, thank you. Wait, am I? Hedge apples or mock oranges? What's a crab apple? Wait, maybe I am thinking of hedge apples. Wait, you're right, I am. It is these hedge apples. Can you eat these? <laughs> Crab apple is different, you're right. Not really, no. Wait, it says to keep spiders away. <laughs> Only the seeds? Do they keep spiders away? Well, crab apple is what you get when you plant pretty much any apple seed. Oh, like a wild apple that tastes bad. Or good, maybe. <laughs> But what does the hedge apple tree look like? When it blooms. I don't know. They always called them crab apples. 
sent in, thank you. Ignition 6, thank you. Crab apple trees are pretty common in northern Minnesota. They're a little sour, but good when at the perfect ripeness. The deer often come into our yard and eat them. And come winter, the grouse eat all the flower buds. It's interesting. I mean, that's the case with any fruit, right? It tastes, it tastes way better when it's perfectly ripe. Thank you, thank you, thank you, she's six. Token lesbian hollow fangirl, thank you. No, is that why? <laughs> Anime stooge, thank you. Tiara, thank you. Mr. Beach, thank you. Eldian, thank you. The koala sloth, thank you. Muigi, yes, happy birthday. Let me sing for you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Sapling, happy birthday to you. Ferdinand, thank you. Ethan, thank you. Eldian, thank you, thank you. Slime mold brain. Leo, thank you. Nice ten, thank you. Cliff of Puncher, thank you. V Faction, thank you. Revelance, thank you. Right, the Burger King crown. I used to wear a Burger King crown from time to time. I would wear one again, happily. Although I feel like it always had like fried grease on it. Is that just me? <laughs> Some say you still do. Who wouldn't? Ketchup stains is from my hair? How could you say that? It's not from my hair. Oh no. <laughs> oh. The greasy hair. <laughs> the slander's crazy today. I know. <laughs> Katie, thank you. You have seen the top of the mountain and we will worship you as though you were a god or however that line goes. Congrats, Ivana. Thank you, thank you. Eldian, thank you. Ray to move, thank you. Viper, thank you. Tarion, thank you. <laughs> Soon, I'll beat it in 20 minutes. Majindy, thank you. Giorgio, thank you. Nathan, thank you. Mr. Veach, thank you. Arisugo, thank you. Izanji san, arigato. Spinderman, thank you. Wet Wombat, thank you. Bota, thank you. Not Blue, thank you. Congrats on reaching the peak, thank you. <laughs> Jeff S, thank you. Matthew, thank you. Yeah, I'm glad that I didn't look up a spoiler. The ending was pretty cool to see. I didn't expect that. I liked it. I liked the credits. I like how he thanked Ben and Foddy, the OG, and I like how he thanked his wife. That's cute. <laughs> Revelance, thank you. Inu Hoshi, thank you. Outrun the Wind, thank you. Hopeful Player, thank you. Wolfbound, thank you. Zero Log, thank you. Richard Likes Pies, thank you. Mao Mao, thank you. Casual Ono, oh thank you. A bit over 20 minutes, just a bit. <laughs> Simpleton, thank you. I know I should play Jump King. Callie's been playing it again. It's, it's fun when other people are also playing it. It makes me want to play it too. Sidnon, thank you. YouthNet, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad you met other saplings. Sean, thank you. You spun your finger in the in the tabletop centrifuge and it was numb for like five minutes after? How did you not like lose your finger? <laughs> did you detach it first? <laughs> Strong bones. 
wasn't going that fast. <laughs> Be okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you. You're right, since the game is a loop, we can call it my my speed run, right? Because I went from one space to the next. <laughs> Those are the super chats. Thank you, thank you for hanging out. This was fun. Like I said, I cannot stream tomorrow or Tuesday. I have many meetings. Boring, boring real life meetings. <laughs> I have to be an adult. Uh, uh. I have to file my taxes. <laughs> But I will go do that. And then on Wednesday, I will probably play Slice and Dice. Because I've been... I've been itching to play it. <laughs> when is Minecraft? Maybe next Monday. Perhaps. The new update is so good. Ooh. I want to see it. I love Slice and Dice. Like, even in its form before... I love slice slice. Also Hitman, yes, I need to. And the Witcher. Those are on the donkey for sure. <laughs> all right, that's all I have for today. Thank you for watching as always. And I will see you on Wednesday. Bye bye, fun well. See you later. Bye. Fauna FM. This ain't your granny's radio station. I'm your DJ Kieran Fauna and get ready to jam out. There's fun with the flow. We are hollow promise. I'm famous. Ayo. I am a big shot. Look, mom, I'm on TV. Gaming idol here in. <laughs> That's me. Bucket. We ball. Never punish, never greedy. <laughs>